Today we're joined by Hannah Gelke, a native of Falmouth and a senior at the University of Michigan. Go Blue. Hannah, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. So a little introduction. Hannah won the 2017 Mass Women's Amateur Championship, was the 2017 Amory Tobin Women's Player of the Year, and last year a very special win won the uh, 2019 Edith Nobles Baker Trophy um, at Procassus, which I know is a special moment. We'll talk a little bit about that. And um, we might be joined by a little extra special guest today, uh, her new puppy, uh, Norman, <laughs> your, your little dog mom now. Mm -hmm. uh, has that, has that uh, been helping you cope with this whole uh, situation and the craziness in the world? Yeah, it definitely uh, keeps me busy. It's a really good time to train a puppy. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm always going in and out of the doors, taking the dog out. So it's been fun. Yeah. Um, what are some of the things you've been doing as an individual to kind of deal with um, golf and kind of the, the craziness that's been the last month or so of um, the NCAA canceling the season, kind of having to finish out your senior year uh, mm -hmm. back home in Falmouth? Yeah, uh, it's definitely been pretty strange. Um, but my team back in Michigan, we keep in touch pretty regularly. And actually tonight we have a Zoom call with everyone in the coaches, which will be nice. Um, it might become a weekly thing. <laughs> to kind of get some familiar faces um, every week. Uh, so that'll be nice. But um, yeah, I've just been, I still have school. So I have class on Zoom um, and still have assignments and stuff, group projects. So that keeps me busy a little bit. And then the puppy. So, and it's nice being home uh, with my family. So seeing them every day has been good. Yeah. Have you gotten to do any golf related things since you've been back home at all? Or is golf uh, kind of on pause right now? Uh oh, it's the puppy. Oh, hey, there's Norman. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, hi, Norm. Hi. Yeah. He's pretty cute. He's nine pounds. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Here. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was your question? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, have you um, have you been able to do any golf related things since you've been back home or is golf kind of on pause for now? Uh, yeah, golf's pretty much on pause. Um, I talked with my coach on the phone um, and we might do some like stats discussions tonight just to kind of recap the year. Um, but other than that, um, golf definitely has pretty much been on hold. Yeah. And tell us about that experience of getting to play Division One golf for four years, you know, especially at a major university um, like Michigan. You know, mm -hmm. what, what are some of the things people might not know about the rigors and rewards of playing in the Big Ten against some of the strongest competition in the nation? Yeah, uh, it definitely was uh, certainly the best experience I think I've ever had. Um, it's a lot of work. You know, you wake up every day, go to class, work out practice, come home, do homework. There's not much time to do anything outside of, you know, golf in school. But um, I would say the most rewarding part was probably the friends that I made through the team. Um, and that was like the hardest part when we were told, you know, we had to pack up and go home. The hardest part was like, oh, I have to say goodbye to all my friends. Um, and I felt like I was kind of robbed of a few more months with them. But all in all, I'm super happy with the experience and super happy with the decision I made to go there. Um, it definitely was the best almost four years <laughs> of my life so far. Yeah, and you get to be a captain this year, and I feel like that's especially, <laughs> you know, tough <laughs> that I got cut short in the spring. Um, but what was that like um, to be a captain and sort of leading your team um, and having that distinction? Yeah, uh, I was really honored to be the captain of the team. We, With uh, the coach that is there currently, we had never had a captain. She never made them um, just because the team had been so small. Um, but this past year, it was a little bigger. We had nine girls, and six of them were underclassmen. So I think she kind of wanted someone to um, help guide them. Um, so I was super honored um to be that person mm -hmm. and I mean the girls were they're like the best people ever so it wasn't like I was dealing with anything difficult um I'd say honestly like the hardest was when we found out about you know not being able to play anymore that was kind of 
hard. I wasn't really sure how to kind of lead them through that. Um, but we ended up getting together a bunch before we left. Um, and we just kind of talked through it and hung out and, um, yeah, so it was, it was sad, but it was nice to kind of, we did end up getting a little bit of closure at the end. So that was cool. Right. Looking back, and I'm sure there's a lot of them, is there a particular golf memory or a round in particular that stands out um, to you during your time at Michigan? Um, so this year, our first tournament was at um, Inverness. And as a team, we came second, which was like so cool for us just because, you know, the summer we spend – working on our games and competing in like mass golf events, um, everyone in their like respective states and countries. Um, so it was really cool for us to come back to school and be like, wow, we have it all together already. Um, and we are a really good team. And like we had some really amazing freshmen who came in and right away were like already studs. Um, so that gave us a ton of hope for the year. And it was just like super fun. Um, especially for the first time of the year. So that's kind of the memory that sticks out to me the most. Um, Cause it was just like, we played really well, but we also already were so close and it was just the first tournament of the year. Mm -hmm. When you get all that competition, how much did that help when you came back to Massachusetts and played the, you know, the summer the amateur schedule and playing all those events when you had a lot of success, <laughs> clearly, as we mentioned in the, in the beginning of the interview, um, some of the wins you've been able to achieve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, college golf definitely helped me um, get a lot of confidence in the summer tournaments. Um, and I think most of that just came from like my teammates and my coaches kind of helping um, build me up. And just with every tournament, you get a little bit more comfortable stepping on the first tee of any event. Um, so just the more you can play, the better you're going to feel. What's the best course you've gotten to play over the last few years in college wise? Oh gosh, I played so many. Um, I played Monterey Peninsula in California, which was pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. Um, that was probably my favorite. It was really beautiful. Right. So. Um, and I'm curious about Ann Armour too, what, you know, outside of golf, what were some of the favorite things you got to do? It's such a great college town. Um, yeah. Um, in, well, aside on the big house, I'm sure you've been to a game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a yeah, the sporting you. events are big. Um, but there's also a really nice, uh, downtown area with a lot mm -hmm. of restaurants, um, and shops. Uh, there's a bookstore that I like to go to. I'm also a big coffee person. Mm -hmm. And Ann Arbor has a ton of really good coffee. Um, so there's a few shops um, or cafes that I would hit pretty regularly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And there's also um, there's the Arb, which is an area for like walking and there's plants and stuff. Um, we would do team events. Uh, one year we did canoeing, <laughs> which was <laughs> actually really hard. <laughs> But it was fun. And then rock climbing ones, you can kayak. There's always like tons of outdoor um, stuff to do. And my coach is really active. So she uh, always liked having us outside doing uh, fun events like that. Now, when you mean kayaking, you don't mean like white water, white no, water. No. <laughs> Everyone stayed in the boat. Yeah, no. yeah it's pretty, uh, it's not very rough waters at all. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Talk, talk a little bit about um, the last few years playing mass golf events, you know, being a, a former amateur champion, a former women's player of the year. Um, what's it like to be able to have that distinction and be able to play at that top level at the state level and be able to come back? Mm -hmm. um, it's really cool. Um, I think mass golf is awesome. I mean, I'm like very aware of how lucky I am to be in a state with an organization that's this good and the events are um, you know, this fun to play. And I think it's like a community and I've gotten to know so many people. So just being kind of associated, um, with all of that, um, has been super awesome. And I look forward to coming back every summer and playing. Mm -hmm. and I keep in contact, like Jen Kime is one of my best friends and we met through all of the mass golf events, uh, in the Griscom cup. So 
So um, yeah, I'm definitely just super happy to um, have an affiliation with Mass Golf. Right. How anxious are you to pick up the clubs again, though, and uh, get swinging? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm definitely pretty excited. Um, I'm kind of excited to play a little bit of pressure-free golf, um, which will be nice. Um, so some casual golf might be fun. I'll probably play with my dad a little bit more, which will be nice. All right. And when you won the Baker last year for Cassett, I um, believe is your home course, if I don't have that correct. Yeah, to, to be able not just to play in that, but to be able to win it and have, I'm sure you had tons of support there. Um, well, what was that like last year, being able to be sort of that hometown hero of sorts and kind of get that win? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, I had Steve Mollis was my caddy for that tournament, and he he's a member at Pocasset. Um, he's – played that course probably more than anybody else on the planet so he knew the greens really well and he's also just been a close friend of ours for a long time and he's always a big fan of mine so it was really cool to have him on the bag and then to win was like the cherry on top um but also just like the competition with Shannon that last day was like I mean it was so good for me to play under that mm -hmm. um and like she, I think everybody knows how good she is. And, you know, you can never count her out ever. Um, so it was super cool to just play against her and kind of go back and forth. Um, I think that was probably what I gained the most from uh, that day. Right. So what's the path look like you, moving for you forward? I mean, I'm sure you're, like you said, you want to play some pressure-free golf. I'm sure you're ready to play some of the more summer events, but after that, um, I know the NCAA just announced Monday that eligibility has been extended, but where are you looking in terms of going forward um, with college and school and, uh, and whatnot? Yeah, um, I think my goal um, right now is just to hopefully things will settle down and I'll continue on the job search. Um, I know there are that um, all athletes, even like freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, they can all have the extra year of eligibility. But I don't think the news has come out on kind of what the that looks like in terms of scholarships and team size and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I think as of right now, I'm just kind of keeping to my original plan um, of just looking for a job. Um, I study business, so it's pretty broad. Um, but yeah, mostly right now, just trying to get through the next few months, hopefully, yeah. uh, safely. Helping the uh, family business. Uh, you want to tell folks <laughs> a little bit about the family business down in Falmouth? I guess we'll give them a quick plug. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my dad has a candy store, Gelfie's Candies. Um, so he's doing a little bit of shipping. Um, and then my mom has a kid's clothing store and she actually oddly enough, right before this whole uh, pandemic started, she started doing FaceTime, uh, like shopping. And so she's trying to implement that because it's like virtual shopping. Um, so she's trying to get that off the ground. Um, so they've kind of just been working mostly from home, uh, trying to figure things out, how to make things virtual, how to get things online. Um, but I've been helping out a little bit. Um, especially with my mom and the computer. So um, it's kept me a little bit busy. Right. Um, you mentioned that you kind of had to talk to the fe your fellow um, underclassmen in Michigan, kind of giving them advice on how to deal with the situation. And what would you say to some of the particularly young golfers, whether they're in high school or just starting out college who, you know, everyone's kind of going through this together, but what was kind of, kind of the nuts and bolts, the advice of what to do during this time since – golf's a bit on pause for a lot of people yeah um I think the biggest thing and the thing that my team did was we just took the time to appreciate one another um because it was kind of the first time that we realized like wow it's not a given that we're gonna be able to see each other every day and be able to do the things uh that we want to do every day um so it allowed us to kind of take a minute um, to really um, just appreciate what we've all done for each other and how important we all are to one another. Um, so we had like some team meetings where we all just kind of 
uh, talked about how important, you know, everyone is to each other. Um, and I think that's definitely helped a lot. Um, just having that support. That's great. All right. We're going to conclude this little rapid fire. So this is usually a this or that or fill in the blank. So let's see how this goes. Um, okay. High Ridge or long irons? Oh, long irons. <laughs> Ice coffee or hot coffee? I, uh, no, hot coffee. <laughs> uh, wooden or plastic teas? Oh, wooden, for <laughs> sure. Uh, Augusta National or Pebble Beach? Augusta. Yeah. Um, beach or mountains? Beach. Yeah, I mean, you're from Fox. Fox. That's naturally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, country or hip-hop? Country, for sure. Yeah. Um, all right, fill in the blank. I never leave the house without... Uh, my phone. Um, if you could go pro in any other sport, what would it have been? Uh, ice hockey. Yeah, that's right. You, um, won a state championship, I believe, right back in Falmouth. Is that right? Yeah. Um, there was a, I was on a team called the Cape Cod Storm, which my dad actually started. Um, and in 2016 or something, one of those years, uh, we won a national championship, which was cool. Okay. So. All right, and back to rapid fire. <laughs> um, Dream Sorry. vacation spot. Um, Paris. Paris. All right. And what about ball of choice? Golf ball. Of uh, choice. Pro V one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, person you most want to play in a head to head match? My brother. I really yeah. like seeing him. <laughs> All right, that was great. Um, Hannah Gelby, thank you so much um, for joining us. And um, I know there's been a difficult time for not just um, Michigan golf, but um, Patriots fans all around lost uh, Tom Brady to Tampa I Bay. Know. And you had a head cover of, uh, yeah, of Tom. I know. That was pretty devastating. Are you still going to hold on to that in your, in your club bag just for memento? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's never going away. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Um, once again, thank you so much uh, for joining us, Hannah, and um, hoping to do more of these uh, individual interviews. Thank you so much for joining us, and uh, Hannah, good luck with everything going forward, and we hope to see you this summer. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.